Hello mates, how are you doing? My name is X Benedict Nguenya and I'm with Jason Nagel. Mm -hmm. We're socially distancing ourselves from each other, just like Spurs and Arsenal are socially <laughs> distancing themselves from the top four. And yeah, speaking about them, that's the mm -hmm. game discussing taking place this weekend. Yeah, big derby, massive game for both teams. I know what it means mm -hmm. the fans, the club, everyone involved at Spurs and Arsenal. So with the two teams now, socially distanced like you say from the the european spots i yep. think it's going to make a cracking encounter now the only thing left to play for is who finishes above one another we know that means a big thing for for both teams of course mm, absolutely abomeyang uh, is chasing jimmy vardy yeah. for golden boot award who takes it at the end of the season between abomeyang and vardy yes looking at the fixtures i'd still say abomeyang i think he can get two in a game perhaps not a head trick at this stage but i think two in a game and do it consistently i think vardy there's more of a one goal, have a break, another goal here in the end. Besides their fixture list, I think it's going to be too tough for Vardy. Mm. Hurricane is definitely not going to win it this year and <laughs> Spurs have been blowing hot and cold. Yeah. Do they even stand a chance against the mighty Arsenal? And Spurs' yeah. best... You, you, I mean, we're talking about it off end. You, you said mm -hmm. this is Spurs' best team. Like, this is their squad. Yeah, and they there's no injuries. Anything. There's no injuries. There's no excuses. It's just this is what a Mourinho team looks like until, of course, new additions in, in the next mm. uh, transfer window. But for me, under Mourinho, they've been far from impressive. I think the same comp you said for Arteta at Arsenal. I think mm. since he's been there, they went three months without defeats. They came back from the play, lost 200 pounds against Man City and Brighton. But since then, I think they've been, you know, guns blazing. Arsenal with the badge and the Chris Gunn's is a, yeah. probably a good thing to say but yeah the I, think, I, I think against uh, Tottenham it's the only thing that could lift Spurs up is perhaps being a derby North London mm. rivals you know they're up for it Mourinho's got a good head to head record against Arsenal so he barely loses so it's going to be tough mm. it's going to be tough indeed and I think Dele Ali will be back yeah he, he should be Ooh. back <laughs> well he's, he's not a person I think Arsenal should be fearing right now why? He's not in the greatest of form. I think when Mourinho first came, Dele Alli was like a house on fire. He looked like 06 Ronaldinho or something like that. Yeah. But I think Like Ronaldinho. <laughs> <laughs> I think right now, nobody's looking at excellence under Mourinho. Not mm. even Son and Kane. Mm, they're gonna be in, you said they're going to be in Mustafi's pocket. Well, I, I choked off here, yeah, but perhaps it's not so much of a joke. I think Mustafi's been excellent. But yeah, Kane's a different story. Which defender does Mustafi remind you of? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a joke, but now that we're there, I might as well mention it. I think if you like Mustafi now, you enjoyed Cannavaro in 06. Ooh, put your head on the block. Spurs <laughs> or Arsenal? Arsenal. A handicap or just no, I, I don't think it's going to be as easy as I first initially thought. I think the, the game in Madrid against Leicester was a wake-up call. Mm. Take your chances, finish the game. If you've got the position, you've got the quality, just beat the keeper. So it's going to be tough. Hugo Lloris is not one of my favourites, but I think he can be beaten. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'm also uh, back in the Gunners of London. The so mighty Gunners. The mighty Gunners <laughs> of London. All right, thank you so much. Cheers. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get yourself the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand at your nearest Holut Best branch or news agent.